I stand before you today to offer an apology to former students of Indian residential schools. The treatment of children in Indian residential schools is a sad chapter in our history. Two primary objectives of the residential school system were to remove and isolate children from the influence of their home, families, traditions, and cultures, and to assimilate them into the dominant culture. These objectives were based on the assumption that Aboriginal cultures and spiritual beliefs were inferior and unequal. Indeed, some saw it, as was infamously said, to kill the Indian in the child. Today, we recognize that this policy of assimilation was wrong, has caused great harm, and has no place in our country. The Government of Canada built an educational system in which very young children were often forcibly removed from their homes, often taken far from their communities. Many were inadequately fed, clothed, and housed. All were deprived of the care and nurturing of their parents, grandparents, and communities. First Nations, Inuit, and Métis languages and cultural practices were prohibited in these schools. Tragically, some of these children died while attending residential schools, and others never returned home. The government now recognizes that the consequences of the Indian residential schools policy were profoundly negative and that this policy has had a lasting and damaging impact on Aboriginal culture, heritage, and language. While some former students have spoken positively about their experiences at residential schools, these stories are far overshadowed by tragic accounts of the emotional, physical, and sexual abuse and neglect of helpless children and their separation from powerless families and communities. It has taken extraordinary courage for the thousands of survivors that have come forward to speak publicly about the abuse they suffered. It is a testament to their resilience as individuals and to the strengths of their cultures. Regrettably, many former students are not with us, not with us today, and died never having received a full apology from the Government of Canada. Therefore, on behalf of the Government of Canada and all Canadians, I stand before you in this chamber so vital, so central to our existence as a country, to apologize to Aboriginal peoples for the role the Government of Canada played in, Indian, in the Indian residential schools system. To the approximately 80,000 living former students and all family members and communities, the Government of Canada now recognizes that it was wrong to forcibly remove children from their homes, and we apologize for having done this. We now recognize that it was wrong to separate children from rich and vibrant cultures and traditions, that it created a void in many lives and communities, and we apologize for having done this. We now recognize that in separating children from their families, we undermine the ability of many to adequately parent their own children and sow the seeds for generations to follow. And we apologize for having done this. We now recognize that far too often these institutions gave rise to abuse or neglect and were inadequately controlled. And we apologize for failing to protect you. Not only did you suffer these abuses as children, but as you became par parents, you were powerless to protect your own children from suffering the same experience. And for this, we are sorry. The burden of this experience is properly ours as a government and as a country. There is no place in Canada for the attitudes that inspired the Indian residential school system to ever prevail again. You have been working on recovering from this experience for a long time. And in a very real sense, we are now joining you on this journey. The Government of Canada sincerely apologizes and asks the forgiveness of the Aboriginal peoples of this country for failing them so profoundly. 
successive Kenyan Canadian governments and various churches were complicit in the mental, physical, and sexual abuse of thousands of Aboriginal children through the residential school system. As the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, a party that was in government for more than 70 years in the 20th century, I acknowledge our role and our shared responsibility in this tragedy. I am deeply sorry. I apologize. To First Nations, Inuit and Métis, mothers and fathers, I am so very sorry we took away your children. I am sorry we did not value you as parents or trust and respect you. We are sorry for what has taken place. 151 years ago, the racist legislation that established the residential schools. This, this Parliament chose to treat First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people as not equally human. It set out to kill the Indian in the child. That choice was wrong, horribly wrong. It led to incredible suffering. It denied First Nations, Métis and Inuit the basic freedom to choose how to live their lives. For those wrongs that we have committed, we are truly sorry. The pain inflicted by the residential schools is deeply felt by these children who were forced to attend and by the parents who had their children stolen from them. And it is still felt. For our parents, our grandparents, great-grandparents, indeed for all of the generations that, which have preceded us, this day testifies to nothing less than the achievement of the impossible. We heard the government of Canada take full responsibility for this dreadful chapter in our shared history. We heard the Prime Minister declare that this will never happen again. Finally, we heard Canada say it is sorry. Brave survivors, through the telling of their painful stories, have stripped white supremacy of its authority and legitimacy. What happened today signifies a new dawn in the relationship between us and the rest of Canada. We are, and always have been, an indispensable part of the Canadian identity. Our peoples, our history, and our present being are the essence of Canada. The attempts to erase our identities hurt us deeply, but it also hurt all Canadians and impoverish the character of this nation. We must not falter in our duty now. Emboldened by this spectacle of history, this spectacle of history, it is possible to end our racial nightmare together. The memories of residential schools sometimes cut like merciless knives at our souls. This day will help us to put that pain behind us. Mr. Prime Minister, uh, I have to face you to say this because it comes from the bottom of my heart. It took great courage for you to express your sorrow and apology to our people, to the Inuit, to First Nations, and to Métis. And we thank you for it. For very much. I am one of these people that have dreamed for this day. And there have been times in this long journey when I despaired that this would never happen. But after listening to the Prime Minister and to the members of the leaders of the uh, uh, political parties, I am filled with hope and compassion for my fellow Aboriginal Canadians as I stand among them here 
with you and your fellow ministers today. I am also filled with optimism that this action by the Government of Canada and the generosity in the words chosen to convey this apology will help us all mark the end of this dark period in our collective history as a nation. I stand here today ready to work with you, as Inuit have always done, to craft new solutions and new arrangements based on mutual respect and mutual responsibility. Thank you, and may wisdom and compassion guide our efforts.